Llyfarydd UKIP. UKIP spokesperson Caroline Jones. Uh, Cabinet Secretary, we all know that early detection of cancer is vital to patient survival, which is why screening programmes are so important. If bowel cancer is diagnosed at the earlier stage, more than 9 in 10 people will be successfully treated. Screening should reduce the number of people who die from the disease, which kills around 1,000 people in Wales each year. Many people find the current test uh, too complicated, which is why I congratulate you for introducing the simpler and more accurate facial immunochemical test or FIT. Cabinet Secretary, can you please provide an update on how the rollout of the new test is progressing? Uh, thank you for the question. There are, I think, two broad points I'd make. The first is, I think it's too early to talk about the rollout, but we expect to provide information through this year on the rollout of the new simpler and easier to administer test. Um, and it's part of the challenge uh, in the past about bowel cancer rates because, broadly, um, it was a difficult and unpleasant test to administer by the individual. And so there were lots of people who just put off and didn't comply. The eye, and the fact that actually it's potential, potentially about um, detecting earlier potentially fatal condition didn't matter to people enough. So we know that there's something about improving uh, testing rates and the new test should help us to do that. And my colleague, the, the minister, will take the lead on providing that information um, with her responsibility with screening program. The second point that I'd make is that when we talk about earlier testing, there is always a challenge and a demand to have more testing and more screening and surveillance programs. And this is really difficult because we, we, as with other parts of the UK, we follow the expert advice that we have about where is the appropriate point and the appropriate group of people to test to actually save the greatest number of lives because there's potential harm that's done in the testing programs as well. And we're making choices about our use of resources. Now that is always difficult because as people in this chamber will have known with, some, uh, with the recent past where Sam Gould at a young age, that's someone who was younger than our standard bowel cancer testing program. Uh, and that's because we're acting on the advice we're given about how to get the best return for the public and the health service about how we save the greatest number mm -hmm. of lives. So whilst to understand that members will often want to come and say, expand the screening program, test more people, it often isn't as simple as that. And I'd ask people to think um, and, and, to and to try and engage with us on the level of where the evidence takes us and why it's there and whether we actually want to run uh, this sort of campaigning uh, the sort of well, a, a campaign around the testing program led by evidence or led by who's going to have the loudest voice about what to try and change. This isn't an easy choice for anyone to make and I think that anyone in my position now or in Rebecca Evans' position would still have to be led by the evidence what is the right thing to do for the service and the public. Thank you for that answer, Cabinet Secretary. Um, Wales has opted to set a much higher sensitivity threshold for the FIT screening. While it is lower than the level set in England, it is double the level set in Scotland and eight times higher than the threshold set elsewhere in Europe. Cancer Research UK states that the reason for the much higher threshold is due to the lack of endoscopy capacity here in Wales. Wales routinely sees around 1,000 patients waiting more than eight weeks for a colonoscopy. If we are to maximise the benefits of the FIT test, we must increase endoscopy capacity. Cabinet Secretary, what actions are you taking to increase capacity? And will you consider lowering the FIT screening threshold once we have sufficient colonoscopy capacity? Well, I have to deal with, with both parts of that. I'm certainly not aware that we've set um, the threshold in the test um, on anything other than evidence based on what is the right thing to do for patients. Um, if she wants to write to me with specific issues that have been raised by cancer research, so either myself or the Minister to respond, we'll happily do so. In terms of endoscopy capacity, we do know that we have a particular challenge in the southeast part of Wales. And we've actually made significant progress on uh, reducing weights and improving capacity, but also improving quality at the same time um, in West Wales, in Mid Wales, and in North Wales too. Our challenge is for South East Wales, where most of these weights exist in the Cardiff and Vale, Cumtaff, and in Iron Bevan Health Board areas. And whilst they've made progress over the last year that is really significant, there is still much more to do over the courses here. I expect them uh, to make a real and significant difference again into the backlog they have. So we then have a much more sustainable system where people are seen within their target times. Thank you, Cabinet Secretary. Um, bowel cancer screening is offered to those aged between 60 and 74. Scotland has opted to screen those aged between 50 and 74. 
Bowel cancer can, however, strike at any age. Um, a few weeks ago, we sadly lost um, a colleague to bowel cancer, and he was aged only 33. Um, Cabinet Secretary, does your government have any plans to offer routine fit screening to those deemed to be at a higher risk of bowel cancer, whatever their age, and to roll out screening to the over 50s as they do in Scotland? As I think I said in the second part of my first answer, we have to be led by the evidence. And if there is evidence that changing the age limits is the right thing to do, then you can expect the government to do that. Uh, but what I, I don't think we can do is to set an arbitrary limit on age that is driven by a campaign that isn't supported by evidence. And that's really difficult um, because I understand the emotion, the understandable impact for people that are outside uh, the screening programme window, but nevertheless acquire conditions including cancer. Uh, but I just don't think that any responsible government is going to be able to say that we'll make a choice about running a national screening programme uh, outside uh, and without due regard for the evidence that exists on what to do with what we recognise are finite resources in the health service and the real harm that is done potentially by screening for those who don't need it, as well as a real gain to be made by an appropriate, resourced and high quality screening programme undertaken across the country.